the current problems of the week page and you can think of this as the place where all of the activity that happens produces the student work that we then use within the library and the link that says solution and commentary that we find in the blue boxes those are the student work that then came through when that problem was a current problem of the week. What's a blue box, you may be thinking? When I click on any of these active problems, you can see this blue shaded area at the top of the page. Only a teacher who has logged in will see this. Print gives you a view that then you can print and make copies if you're using uh, the problem on paper. A sign is a handy way to have it so that when students log in they can see this problem available on their My Power page. My Students Work is a very handy link and relatively new and so if you've assigned this problem to your students then you can use this link to quickly find all of their work. Submit is the same as clicking on Compose Answer. Solution and Commentary right now, you'll see that they're not available because this problem is open. But if, the, if we were in the library, um, if I were to take this number and go to the library and enter it, you'll notice that I can view the solution and commentary link and see both Max's commentary from the last time that we offered this problem and then student work at the practitioner or expert level. If I go back to the current problem page and look at the active problem. The other resources that you want to make sure to access are the rubric specific to the problem, the scenario if you're using noticing and wondering as an activity, and then the teacher packet which gives not only practitioner and expert examples but also novice and apprentice which can really be helpful as you're starting out using our problems.